Hi, it's Easy Rider Greg. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, share. Especially share and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot with YouTube. And if you can't finish watching the whole video, please take that slider down at the bottom and slide it all the way over to the right before you leave. That will also help me out with YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. It's a great day. I got a story to tell you. Since I can't ride, it's only like 36 degrees. Yeah, 38 degrees. Still snow on the ground, not much, but it's too cold to ride. Now, we'll get to the story. Early, early riding story when I was 13 years old. I had a Honda 55 trail bike. I can't remember the actual number designation. CT, probably 55. CT 55. <clears throat> it's my very first bike. My dad bought it for me. And we lived on a Navy base in Alaska. And the Marines, some of them were assigned to traffic duty. And they could give you tickets for breaking the traffic laws on, on the base. And I don't know if you could get fined or not, but they could certainly tell you you couldn't drive or ride on the base anymore and for a given amount of time or forever or they could just kick you off and you couldn't come on at all and of course if you were a military person they couldn't <clears throat> couldn't do that but you could get in other trouble loss of pay brig time work details extra duty they called it i think anyway they, they, there would always be two, two Marines in a gray truck, had a red light on top. That's what all the emergency vehicles had back then in the 60s in the U.S. anyway. And it, and it was just a, a reflector that spun around in a circle with a light in the middle. That's what all the police departments, ambulances, everything used they use them too and they had a siren and if you've ever watched old 60s and 50s movies you know what the sirens police siren sounded like that's what that's what the siren sounded like on those trucks those gray trucks that they but anyway i was out riding and, and i i had this this puppy that was small enough to fit in my jacket and so I used to take him in my jacket all the time. And on base, you had to wear a helmet. Even though it, back then, I don't think there was any state that required a helmet, but the, the military always required a helmet on base. And I was riding. I had a, had a helmet on. They weren't real sticklers as to what kind of helmet it was. Many people just wore construction helmets. <clears throat> they just go to the construction battalion and get one. <laughs> The Navy Seabees, they just get one from them, and that, that was good enough. But anyway, I had a helmet on, and I had my dog in the jacket, and his head stuck out at the top, you know, just below my neck. And I was riding along, minding my own business, and thinking that I was doing nothing wrong. And all of a sudden, this gray truck pulls up behind me, on goes the red light and the siren, and they pulled me over. I pulled off into this the school parking lot, and I was going by the, the school on the base. <clears throat> and I pulled into that parking lot because the roads are pretty narrow. <clears throat> and they pulled in, and they got out. One of them was looking kind of weird. He was kind of smirking and smiling and like he was having a hard time 
keeping from laughing, but I, the other one was real serious looking and I wasn't sure what was going on. And uh, the serious one says, you know why we stopped you, don't you? And I said, no. Speed limit was 25. I was probably only going maybe 22. I said, no, I don't. Why? And, and of course, you know, I'm only 13 years old. Oh, shoot. I got to stop here. My dog just pooped. I got to pick it up. Kimber, don't go away. Hold on. Maybe I'll have to edit this out. Uh, anyway... He says, you know why we stopped you, don't you? Well, let me pick this up. You don't need to see it. <clears throat> uh, how am I going to do this? Okay. Kimber, come back. Okay, I dropped the leash. She's wandering off. Now I got a bag of poop I'm trying to put my glove back on. Maybe I'll just shove the glove back in my pocket. Hey, don't watch it. You're going to pee on the leash. Oh, man. Come here. She's wandering off and just doing her own thing. Sorry about that. Anyway, where was I? The Marine Patrol stopped me. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know why we stop you, don't you? And I said, no, I don't. I wasn't doing anything. Well, you're, you know, there's a... You got to wear a helmet on a motorcycle on base. I said, I am. And I was wearing a real helmet. My dad had bought me a, a Bell helmet of some kind. I don't remember what kind it was. It was a white one, a three-quarter helmet. It says, your dog doesn't have a helmet. And then the other one just lost it, man. He couldn't stop laughing. And then, the, uh, then both of them were laughing. And they got back in their truck and drove off. As far as I know, they laughed the rest of the day. They thought it was real funny. I do too now. <laughs> I can laugh about it now. I didn't think it was too funny then. I, I wasn't happy about it. He's with you since I can't ride today. <laughs> thought I'd share that with you. Thanks for watching and everybody have a great weekend and I hope 2021 is far better than 2020.